Good day people, welcome back to my YouTube channel Elliot Wave Principal. I'm your host Shaheen. Uh, we are going to continue our analysis of gold and silver from our previous uh, video. And we have seen quite a bit of time now spent. And uh, the important thing of today's video is that gold and silver both are completing different patterns at least on a smaller time frame. Although the larger trend stays same, but the meaningful swings are very important that we trade on. So there, it looks like they are looking into, uh, they are trading into different directions. So we're going to look into it. We're going to start with the silver. Before we actually zoom into a smaller time frame, when we discuss the next swing and a potential uh, reversal, uh, we need to look at the larger time frame. Okay, which is weekly time frame analysis. I'm point of view. view uh, I'm of the point of view that the larger uh, bearish cycle cycle wave that started right from the top hasn't ended yet, and uh, therefore I'm considering the whole wave as wave A and wave B right over here, uh, and then I'm expecting this wave C to be a five-wave structure. So basically, a zigzag is expected to be completed right starting from the top, and the wave C is expected to be an ending diagonal, but it's a diverging ending diagonal. The waves are labeled in front of you on, on the screen for you. Wave 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and wave 5 is going on. I believe that wave A of 5 is complete and wave B of 5 is complete. And right now we are going on uh, in the wave C of uh, uh, wave A, B, C or wave 5. So we expected to see, I'm expecting a bottom to be formed uh, somewhere around $10 uh, around Aug Aug end of August and in the beginning of September 2024. Uh, so we have quite a bit of drop to uh, see, especially in gold and silver both. Now I'll zoom in on a, uh, hour, on a four hourly time frame to see what's happening. A very interesting pattern that we are seeing. And that's, uh, it looks to me that we are uh, going through a leading diagonal pattern on a, um, on a in, in the wave, wave 1 of wave C. Alright. And here it is. I believe that we have completed wave 1 right over here, wave 2, wave 3. And wave 4 is a flat correction. Right at the top, I gave a um, forecast that we're expecting uh, silver to be on the bearish side. I believe that we are going to be completing a bottom somewhere around over here, just below this one right over here. And that should complete the end of the trading setup. After which, I believe that the correction pattern that we're going to see will start pushing the prices upward. So two possibilities are expected right over here. We can uh, sharply go up right, out, right over on the top and then come down and go over here. Or we can, with that will be a flat correction. Or we can actually complete a zigzag correction. But it's quite important that when prices comes drop over here, our trading setup will be complete. And then we'll start looking on the, bias, uh, on the bullish side. So when we start looking on the bullish side, we need to look at the support uh, areas. And I've already mentioned that this zone is very important right over here. You can see we have seen bottoms forming around this zone right over here. So what we're going to do is that we're going to use this area as an important uh, target price for the for the price coming down. And then we can use the previous, uh, the next low, which is right this one, as our stop loss on the going for going bullish, right? So it will not be an ideal trading setup, but on a smaller time frame, we can wait for the pullbacks uh, to get a better idea, and then we can put push our stop loss uh, beyond that point. So I'm expecting that uh, there is a bit of price movement left on the downside, and we'll see a bottom forming. At that point, we should start looking for a bullish uh, bullish move, and then any correction on the bullish move will give us an uh, indication where to join the trend, and then we can trade on the upside as well. So this is how it is. Uh, and let's have a look at gold. The price of gold is expect uh, is uh, seemingly completing a different wave. And then you can see while silver has been creating um, the structure on the downside, gold is completing uh, a different structure. I believe that. Let me go on a weekly time frame. And uh, or let's go on monthly time frame. Okay. And then we'll zoom in. I believe that the structure that this one starts right from over here is yet not complete. So I'm expecting for an A, a B, uh, and a C structure. So a three-wave structure, three-wave structure, and a five-wave structure. And I'm expecting a bottom uh, form somewhere around 1260-ish, uh, around August of 2024, at the end of August of 2024, and in the beginning of uh, September 2024. So we have a long way to go. The problem here is that we have seen uh, side wave behavior in the recent months, I would say, uh, in recent weeks, if you look at it, and that side wave behavior has been really, really tricky. So we're going to discuss that side wave behavior, 
we were expecting i was i had a forecast that we were expecting for the price to come down and create a low somewhere around over here instead we have seen a significant push upward so that giving an indication that we are looking at a pattern at 1212 pattern okay and let me go on four hourly time frame so we can actually look the chart a bit better there we go so I do believe that we have seen uh, a larger wave one and two and we have smaller wave one right over here and a two right over here so we can actually bring it right over here and then we have another smaller smaller wave one and two uh, going on so I believe uh, we can label it a bit differently we have gone, that's what I'm discussing right now give me a moment first of all I'm looking for the this wave is yet not complete the initial another push down is possible further pound down push is possible therefore the structure when silver goes down as we're looking for silver I mean it looks to me that it's going to come down back and create uh, complete the correction somewhere around this range right over here at the lower end and and when that is complete um, then we should start looking for the prices to go up that uppish move shall complete this uh, this swing right over here okay and in that after that from wave is complete we are expecting for this move to come down and then go up right over here so an ABC structure a flat structure is expected to complete it alright and that's the point since if let's, let's say this wave goes beyond that point and goes over here in that case we can start considering that okay this whole wave is wave 1 and this we are going through wave 1 right over here wave 2 right over here there's yet another possibility and that possibility is that in, instead of going right over here this wave A that we are talking about the price shoots all the way to the top right over here in that case we can say that the, st the correction that actually started from over here is not complete in that case we have wave uh, W which is a, a zigzag pattern which is wave X which is a double zigzag and then this would be wave Y which will be a double three correction so in this case we are expecting for the prices to complete something like this all right so it depends on where the this this uh, this swing ends right over here today I'm expecting that we might see prices go up a bit complete the new top and then come down either way whether price goes up or not I'm expecting the pullback will happen somewhere around this area and then we'll see another move up right right over here this is a very small time frame that shall see the completion of wave A after that wave B and then wave C so uh, it depends on where the swing ends keep an eye on both therefore do not use um, the break the top this one and this one uh, for going on the bearish side all right therefore we, you must wait for creating a correction right over here going for the prices over here and then you must wait for the diagonal break that will give an indication that the uh, the trend is turning okay so we are expecting for the prices to come back right over here and then we can use the trend line um, for the prices to go up and then we can use the, this lower trend line break to confirm that prices have created the swing or completed the swing so this is important there's a lot of ifs and buts but this I have also discussed a couple of alternate labeling within it and I'm expecting that as soon as this correction is confirmed um, or, or complete when we will start looking on the bearish side we have a lot more bearish side in gold and uh, let's see how does it goes I'm expecting I'm, I'm eagerly waiting for next six months uh, and see where the gold would be uh, creating a bottom Wish you good luck with your trade and have, have a good one and bye bye.